Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the second meeting of the delimitation commissions between Armenia and Azerbaijan will be held next week in Moscow. The right of the indigenous people of Artsakh to self-determination and the Azerbaijan genocide policy are ignored, Arman Tatoyan. The United States is ready to support the delimitation and demarcation of the borders between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Interview with the Deputy Director on Research of Armenian architecture, Rafi Kortoshan. In van, they are preparing for a gastro festival, Treasures of Artsakh, La Lazari Bridge, and a Cathedral of Western Armenia, presentation of website Culture Heritage of Artsakh, dating in the name of preservation, took place. The second meeting of the delimitation commissions between Armenia and Azerbaijan will be held next week in Moscow. This was reported to journalists by Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Russia, Andrei Rudenko, answering a question from TASS. As we have already reported within the framework of the implementation of the agreements reached between two countries on the basis of relevant recommendations, on May 24, the first meeting of Deputy Prime Minister of Armenia, Moher Grigorian, and Deputy Prime Minister of Azerbaijan, Shahin Mustafa, Five, took place in an eastern border of Armenia and Azerbaijan in the format of joint work of commissions on border security and delimitation of the state border between Armenia and Azerbaijan. The parties discussed organizational issues of joint activity of the commissions. An agreement has been reached to hold the second meeting in Moscow and a third in Brussels. The National Council of Western Armenia represents its position on this issue and a following link on our official website. Armenian ex-Ombudsman Arman Tatoya made a note, apart from which we present to your attention. The statement made during the trilateral meeting in Brussels absolutely ignores the right of indigenous people of Artsakh to self-determination and the Azerbaijan genocide policy towards Artsakh. There are no guarantees in the security sector of Armenia. However, what is happening is also a consequence of the fact that Armenian authorities have constantly cancelled our fundamental thesis of historical significance, starting with the fact that the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan has nothing to do with Artsakh. In Sunik, votes are built in such a way that they are under the Azerbaijani gun. The facts of Azerbaijani crimes have been and continue to be hidden from the outside world, from the internal society and the diaspora. They tied the hands of our state in a matter of international mechanism and made a country a victim of geopolitical interest. All this has nothing freed Azerbaijan's hands even more to fill the world with falsifications. They have become numb and continue to to people's vigilance. The Parliament of Western Armenia presents the law on Artsakh, which was approved on February 24, 2022. On May 24, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken held a telephone conversation with Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, during which the parties discussed issues related to the settlement of the Artsakh conflict, the resumption of regional communications and regional security, Voice of America reports. On the U.S. position, U.S. State Department spokesman Ned Price in particular said the U.S. Secretary of State had the opportunity to talk with the Prime Minister of Armenia. They discussed the positive developments that that have been seen in recent days and recent weeks in the South Caucasus. The Secretary of State said that we are ready to support the delimitation and demarcation of borders. He also confirms, as you have heard from me and others, our readiness to participate in a bilateral format and as a co-chair of OSCE MISC group to help Armenia and Azerbaijan achieve a long-term and comprehensive peace. The State Department spokesman said the National Council of Western Armenia presents its position on its issue on the following link on our official website. The Deputy Director of Foundation for the Research on Armenian Architecture, Rafi Kortoshan, spoke on Western Armenia TV about the International Conference on the Protection of Monuments of Artsakh, which Azerbaijan tried in very possible way to fail. Regardless of all this, the representative of the Foundation, Rafi Kortoshan, presented the Armenian site with great honor. He also presented the guidebook Khosrov Nature Reserve, created by Samvel Karapetyan, the presentation of which will take place on May 28 in Tapi Castle we in the framework of the Community Potential Festival. 
From June 1st to June 3rd, the first gastronomic festival with the participation of famous cooks will be organized in the city of Van in Western Armenia. The festival will be attended by 70 cooks from different regions of five countries where the dishes of Armenian cuisine of Van will be presented and culinary competitions will be held. Numerous similar events were held in various places of Western Armenia, especially at this time of year, and it will be very useful if such festivals were held not only in our occupied homeland but also in those countries of the world where Armenians live. La Lazari Bridge is located in the Kashatav region of the Republic of Artsakh, in the area of the lower reaches of Orotan River. This large bridge was built in 1867 by Hovakim Lazarians from Khandoresk. In 1900 and 1902, the bridge was thoroughly repaired by his son Simeon Lazarians. The dates of the foundation and construction of the bridge are still being read over the left bank part, which was deliberately scattered by Azerbaijani vandals back in Soviet times. 350 meters from the Lazari Bridge along the Vorotan River, the ruins of mill built in the 19th century have been preserved and 1.2 km northern east of the bridge, a rock church is undestroyed. In the history of Armenian architecture, the Annie Cathedral played a key role and importance which with its stylistic originality, innovation of compositional artistic form of structures had a great influence on the entire further course of development of Armenian architecture. The achievement of the creative cathedral of Arni are linked with the name of outstanding architect of medieval Armenia, Tertad, who in the course of his fruitful activity created magnificent and unsurpassed monuments. Famous scientist architects Toros Toromon Manyan highly appreciates the importance of Tertad in Armenian architecture. The role of Tertad in the formation of Armenian architectural identity is invaluable. One of the best manifestations of the creative personality of Tertad is the Cathedral of Ani, which plays a significant role in the development of artistic forms of church architecture. The Cathedral, with its splendor and ideological content, was called the power of Armenian statehood. On May 24th, the presentation of English language website Culture Heritage of Artsakh, dating in the name of preservation, took place at Central Francophony House of Paul Elward in Stepanakert. The authors of the project are Aspet Gochikian, an international expert and a head of Matina Dara Museum section of the Master of Mashtod, senior researcher Nazeli Karibian. They were supported by the monument expert Gagik Sarkisian. The website was created with the founding of General Armenian Charitable Union. According to Aspet Gochikian, the goal was to create a website that will be accessible for the foreign analysts and become a source for their research. We have accumulated information about monuments during the work carried out within the framework of this program, accounting historical and cultural monuments of Artsakh, organized by the government of Republic of Artsakh. We have compiled a list of information about 4,000 monuments in the course of our work with we also found castles and only in Kashatak district we found 77 castles in Karvarjar district 10, noted archaeologist Gaigik Sarkisian. Now musical part Armenian folk song, Varjan Markarian's song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.